I think I love people behavior. I love how people think and what motivates them. I only care about the psychology. I only care about what these people think. It's not that I'm a digital fan. I'm an attention fan and wherever the attention is, that's where I want to be. <laughs> Gary V, thanks for spending some time with me, man. Good We've to got see a you, few brother. minutes to hang out Looking together. Good. Congratulations on the book. Thank you. What's intriguing you right now? Are there any platforms that you're psyched about? There's only one platform that's got me intrigued, which is Musical.ly. I've never seen a platform win at eight to 12 years old before. It makes you go, oh right, you could have a platform that actually wins that third grade demo. I'm not one that believes everybody should be on everything, but I do think that everybody should be aware of everything and I do think that everybody should be at some level testing a good amount to make sure they're prepared for anything that grows. If you're in America and you're selling to 15 to 25 year olds a product and you're not spending 80% of your money on Snapchat, well then you're making a huge mistake. My number one favorite ad product in the world is the Super Bowl commercial. I think it's the most underpriced attention. And my number one overrated product is programmatic ad buying. I believe that banner ads are in deep trouble in a mobile world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think anything that's justified by the low cost of the CPM tends to not be the most exciting thing. So I'm not the biggest fan of programmatic at all, actually. I mean, there's a lot of brands right now that are in deep trouble because they're 80%, 70% TV. Yeah. Their sales are collapsing because the attention on television commercials is dwindling by the second. Do you feel like you use data smartly? I think you have people that are hardcore math. I think you have people that are hardcore art. I think they both matter tremendously. The holy grail is when people respect and use and fight for both. I think that's what we're looking for. Gary Vee, what would you do if you weren't doing this? I think I'd be a high school guidance counselor. I love how people think and what motivates them. One of the biggest reasons I like having 650 people is I love running HR. I love the people stuff. You've yeah. got a sense of me. Yeah, totally, I love brother. that. Artificial intelligence, fan of? AI and VR are coming. I don't think it's tomorrow. I think people are overestimating how quickly some of these innovations happen. We thought the internet in 92 was gonna be main, main, mainstream and <laughs> took over the world by 2000. Absolutely. We're here 16 years later, so we've learned that people take time to fold into new uh, behaviors. I do think over time it chips away and we'll see a lot of change.